All right, everyone was disappointed when the news came out that Conor McGregor was no longer able to make the walk for UFC 303. But the now two division UFC champion and now two time savior for the UFC did exactly that. Alex Pereira basically on two, maybe three weeks notice became the impromptu headliner for International Fight Week in a rematch against his previous opponent, Jerry Prohoshka. And Alex put on one hell of a performance and reminded me a lot of the Israel Adesanya knockout over Robert Whitaker, where he basically knocked him out at the end of the first round and then went on to finish the job early in the second after dropping Jerry Prohoshka at the end of the first round with a huge left hook. Alex Pereira, who's known to have some of the most devastating leg kicks in all of MMA, decided that in the second, he would bring that kick up high, basically shutting Jerry Prohoshka out right away. Now, a lot of people immediately after this, Rogan included and especially, were calling for Alex to have a fight at heavyweight following this impressive performance. I know, yeah, I've, well, I've never said this before, but I want to see a guy become a three-division world champion, or at least give it a In the post-event press conference, Dana White was pretty quick to go ahead and uh, completely shut that down. A lot of people are saying Alex Bejeda at heavyweight is awfully intriguing. I know we got Jones and Stipe, we got Aspinall and Blades. I, I'm standing up there with the belt, and I had Joe Rogan in my ear the whole time we were up there. Let him fight heavyweight, come on, just do it. So, um, I know that's what people want to see. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this whole thing plays out. Is there any chance that he injects himself into Jones Stipe, for instance? Or, I mean, you're still committed to that? Yeah, no, no. That, we're definitely committed to that. I mean, you know how I feel about John Jones. Now, Dana did kind of leave the door open a little bit. But if we're being realistic and Alex Pereira moved to heavyweight right now, does it make the most sense in the world as far as his immediate next step? Now, I myself have always been a big fan of Alex Pereira. My introduction to combat sports being kickboxing and Muay Thai, I've pretty much always been aware of how good of a kickboxer this guy is and how much insane power this guy holds in that left hand. But when you look at the guy's record in MMA, specifically in the UFC, he hasn't really gone up against a high-level grappler at all. The closest we saw was him going against Jan Blahovich, which, as you can see here, was a split decision. And the more we kind of entertain these talks about Alex Pereira at heavyweight, I think more people forget that there is a top contender at light heavyweight that we're slowly but surely starting to give the Bilal treatment to, and that is Magomed Ankalaev. And though Magomed is a bit of a kickboxer, he's not exactly just you know, a straight up clone of Khabib, but at light heavyweight. The guy likes to entertain the fight on the feet where he is really successful. When you take a look at the guy's record, he hasn't lost a fight in about six years. Not only is the guy clearly and obviously the number one contender, but if I'm Alex Pereira, a guy like Magomed who will entertain the standup even though he is a pretty high level grappler himself, gives Alex the opportunity to potentially pass that first test of going up against somebody who can really wrestle. But Magomed's gonna entertain the fight in the feet just enough for Alex to still very much have a chance in that fight. And on the other side of things, if you look at the guys at heavyweight that he would have to go up against, it's either gonna be John Jones, high level wrestler, Tom Aspinall, training jujitsu since he could walk, or the division one wrestler himself, Curtis Blades. Not to mention that every single one of these guys has a pretty decent size advantage on him, and not just weight, but also reach, especially when you take into consideration the fact that Alex Pereira has become a pretty major star in the sport of MMA in just a short amount of time. Him going up to heavyweight has a big potential payoff, but it's also the biggest gamble he can make in his career. I think it might make more sense for him to take this one final test at light heavyweight, and then depending on how that goes, then when he's just about ready to hang it up, maybe he's got one, maybe two more big time mega fights left in his career, then you take that challenge and go up to heavyweight. So there you have it, in my opinion, Alex has a little bit more work to do at light heavyweight. Not much, but he's got at least one more fight there for him. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Are you guys just fiending to see Alex make his heavy you or do you think it's time for Magomed to finally get his chance or you know his second chance at UFC gold thanks for watching